Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to some more Half-Life Frozen Force. I have absolutely no fucking clue uh, where I'm even supposed to be or what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, it has been over a week since I played this. Um, I have no health. That helicopter is very loud. Oh, health. I feel like that helicopter should not be as loud as it is. Okay, it's not bugged because it is clearly like getting quieter as I'm going down. Ah, shoot. Okay, well I'm out of my synthetic rocket launcher or whatever that is. Uh... Oh, I've got a lot of shotguns. I don't understand what people... Okay, I I'm going to be 100% honest. Like, uh, someone commented on the last video that this is not a game that you can just run and gun in and, like, you have to think through it. Um, hey, I'm gonna be honest. That is quite literally the one option you have in the game. Like, genuinely, that's the only option here. Like, there is no option for stealth here, it's just shoot your way through. And the issue with that is that I don't have a lot of health, um, and they are inc the enemies that I'm fighting are incredibly strong. I'm never going to be able to play a regular video game ever again since I just played six hours of Resident Evil 5 for a recording. That's going to be fun uh, for you guys to see because it's going to be in two parts. Okay, things are going to come around the corner to me as per usual. I seriously think, I, I know I'm pretty far away from the thing, but it should not take that many shots to die. Okay, um, let's see, what is my quick save, H? Okay. Yeah, look at that. One shot does 10 HP. I only have a maximum of 54 at this exact section. Okay. Did, did that grenade just not do anything? Okay. New idea. <sighs> cool. Okay. Oh, well, I'm essentially screwed already because I have two, yeah. Okay, d yeah, just kill me. It's fine. Do it. Okay. a smart way to go through here, but I only have so many bullets in it. Nope. And I have to deal with these freaking things. Okay. What's this? Oh, my rocket launcher. That does not look like a rocket launcher in that thing. Okay. Okay, now that thing is dead. Because I, I know 
know if he's dropping the ceiling. Yep. Don't have any of those, and I'm not in the area where I have cover. God damn it. Okay. So here's the issue with this part. Uh, okay, so I need to walk here, trigger that, and then immediately fall back. Well, that didn't work. Um, oh, cool, and they immediately followed after me. Yes, you know what? I 100% agree with that person in the comments. I, I should be thinking about this in a stealth manner. I should, you know, not be running in and gunning it. Because that's totally, like, a viable thing that you can do in this game. We have the ability to, you know, walk around this and, you know, think about it in a smart manner. We do. We definitely do. That's definitely something that we have. And I don't want to be rude to people watching. It's just... If you think that there is, like, an actual, like, stealth mechanic in here, there is, like, no actual methodology of stealth in this entire game. I'm going to be perfectly honest, just because we get to crawl through vents occasionally doesn't mean that there's going to be stealth involved. Um, ow. Well, I'm fucked. People are faster than me, can attack faster than me, and have more health than me. That was the worst time for me to reload. Ah, that's a grenade. One HP. Yeah. Health. Even a suit recharge would be so, so, like... So nice. Are you crazy? I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. What bomb? Okay, so Clearly there's some sort of bomb that I have to go deal with. So maybe it's through this way? Do I have to backtrack to an area where there's a bomb? Cool, you have nothing to add to the conversation. Uh... Bomb I have to turn on. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm thinking about this wrong. I have a portal gun. I'll just go straight through there. Nope, I don't have the... Don't have the ammo for it, I don't think. I think it requires 40 for me to do the right-click option. But I have to go back and check. Yep. Okay. New option. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but... Not opening the door until someone gets rid of the bomb. Okay, co oh wait. Cool.
Did I do it? Okay, I guess I did it. Okay, let me through now. That was a close one. You better get in here. It's not going to be You're right. from here on out. Okay. And then there's the G-Man resetting the bomb. It's okay. Well, now I've got ammo for my, um, this weapon. Got 16 health, which is, you know, really good, but I mean, it's better than having one. <sighs> Worlds collide. Hey guys, you'll never believe it. I'm stuck to the floor again. You know, you'd really think that, like, that would, like, not be an issue. You think that if you were to release a game, you would make sure that, you know, people could- Oh, I have to go through a Black Ops section with 16 health? Great. Alright, let's just run. There's not anything that I can do. I have not enough health to fight. I have to just hope that I can survive a shot by them. Okay. No, you know what? No. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. Have fun. Have fun with that section. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that shit today. Nope. It, can t it, it keeps going. It keeps going. I'm looking at this. It just keeps going. There's no health. Like... I'm done. <laughs> we... <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm cheating in weapons now, uh, in addition. Which I didn't want to do, I just wanted more ammo and health. But, like, this is... Oh, it didn't even give me health. Does it not do that in this one? Regardless, glue on gun... Yeah, that's right. It's the glue on gun. Run. No, no, no. You can't escape the glue on gun. Oh, this is what you want to do? Oh, turret's so good. Look at me, I have the glue on gun. I am your I I win. I win with my infinite glue on gun. I'm gonna be honest, I did not want to do any of that. I really didn't. I didn't want to have to resort to like using nothing but like the glue on gun after essentially just cheating. But it's like it's impossible to do it otherwise. There's no way. Also, this is far too fucking loud. Okay, the sounds are 100% broken. Like, sorry. We're done. There's not going to be any more sound. Since, literally, e e the sound is broken. Can you just let me the fuck through? Here's the thing. This isn't fun anymore. Um... And I don't want to say that the game is bad, because it's clearly not. There is a lot of good design to this game. It's just, 
it's impossible to manage because of how the game is designed. You don't get enough health throughout the entirety of the game. And you kind of just have to rely upon, like, occasional momentary moments where you actually have any resources. Like, all of these boxes could have had some amount of health to help me out. But no, it's just use the gluon gun. The, the gluon gun is the one thing that can save any playthrough of Half-Life. And I'm stuck to the freaking floor. Okay, you know what? I I'm going to be honest. Th there are some incredibly poorly designed things in this game. Number one, the elevators. I get that I'm playing it on a computer that it was 100% not designed for, and that it's being ported over and essentially being emulated. But if you're going to release a game and still have it available for purchase, something that you can go out and buy and launch right now on your own computer, it should work, okay? Like, it should not be an issue of, oh, every time you turn on this game, the sound is going to be messed up. Every time you use an elevator, you have to no-clip. Like, no, that's not game design. That's just being lazy. Like, you're- you're- No, I'm loading that quick save. Like, I, I wanted for such a long time in this game to just use the gluon gun. I wanted to cheat. I wanted to do nothing but to just take the, the weapon that I had and just, like, use Impulse 101. Because it is 100% the only way to make anything in this game playable. Like, I, I don't think it's been properly, like... No, I think it has been properly shown how this game is next to impossible with just doing it normally. Like... No, you know what? I'm done with pla I'm not platforming over this section. No. I'm just going to see where do I need to go. Because I, I can just head over to where I need to go. Yeah. Whoops, I guess that was a security... Oh my gosh. Look at that. Health. For the first time in genuinely the longest time. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I ha, I am incredibly sorry for this, but, like, okay. There is so much fun that could be had with this game, but you don't have enough tools in your arsenal to deal with them. And every five seconds I have to no clip because elevators don't work. You get stuck on them as soon as they land. Like, you have to just... Is this a conveyor belt? Is it... A vent? Is it, like, pushing? Okay. What is that? Is that like the final boss portal? You'd think I could be able to like get into that. Okay, um, wait, where is my barnacle? I need to go up here, I'm guessing. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Oh, I think this is the final boss. Huh. Um... 
I can't even tell if this is doing damage. I can't even use that gun anymore. Like, it's just not letting me. Okay. Oh, it's the Zen thing. Oh, maybe I have to use my... Where's my super weapon? Yeah, maybe I have to use this on it. Um, what? There we go. Okay, let's go to Zen. Okay, so we're up here. Oh, so that had no purpose and actually just wasted my time and ammo. Oh no, a fire alarm is going off in my house. Oh, well that eye got hurt, but the other one didn't. Uh, do I have to go, th do I have to jump into that? Or is that like a weak, p oh, well I guess I'm back here now. Well, first of all, I want to do that. Okay, secondly, I need to grab my barnacle, which is actually, like, really cool. And we walk up here. I'm just going to equip this, I guess. I like how it sort of starts off transparent. That's kind of cool, though. I mean, like, the design of this is all really interesting. Is that just spawn in an enemy? Okay. I'm not really concerned about the enemy. I mean, like, when I'm up here and it's down there, it's, there's not much that I, it can really do to me. Obviously, I don't go down there and, like, screw the fuck off, okay? Well, now I can't get over there. Um, screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again to get into there. No, you don't. Okay, so what actually? not take this many sniper shots to kill. Okay, so...
So I have to jump down over to that, don't I? I have to like take this ladder down. Burn you to death. I don't want barnacle you to go away. Oh wait, no, that's not barnacle, that's just a rope. Go over here and kill this guy. Come on. Let's go. Open your damn eye. It's okay. I get it. There you go. Hit, get hit once. You're dead. It's fine. Okay, get up here. I hit it. It's an eye. Is it dead? Is it doing something? I hate the fact that it can kill me before I- it's- I don't, I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this. This is the final boss, and I don't even want to put in enough effort to beat this. Like, I, I'm done with this. I, I really am. I think this is actually ridiculous. Um, like, no, I, I'm sorry. This is not actually, like... Th there's no fun involved in doing this anymore. Like, actually, I had a lot of fun with Black Mesa, and a lot of this game was super fun, too. However, there is just too many things dampening its design for it to be in it something enjoyable to play. And right now, all I need to do to fight this guy is just wait for it to open its eyes and then shoot it repeatedly. I don't go in here, as seen here. Like, th there's nothing actually here for me to do. Like, look at that. Look how many shots and blasts it takes to kill a single one of these. Okay. So that- it, one already. Two. Three. Point blank. I it's ridiculous. It's an It's not inexcusable. It's just annoying. Is there supposed to be music here? Because the MP3 volume is actually up. Because, like, Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, and Black Mesa all had, like, good musical stink. Interesting. I is there anything here for me to do, even? That is funny how it has the Zen skybox outside of here. Yeah, like, half of the sounds are missing right now. And more fucking fire alarm. Okay. I'm sorry, is there, like, actually something I'm supposed to be doing other than shooting his eyes? Like, it definitely doesn't seem like it has anything I can do other than that. Because, it, like, it opens that portal up, yeah, sure, but, like... You don't shoot that portal, you don't go into it. Like, there's just straight up nothing... 
Th there's nothing. Like, that, that is the best way to describe this game. It's nothing. It, it was made to be a DLC for more people to be interested in. But, like... It didn't do anything interesting. It added a bunch of enemies, which are cool designs and, like, kind of terrifying. However, it didn't actually, like, you know have any amount of balance to it. <laughs> Is there anything that I'm supposed to be doing? Like, it feels like I've been shooting this thing's eyes for actually, like, ten minutes now. Oh, hey, look! Wait. If I, if I walk over here, it gets affected by that. Is that what I'm supposed to- am I supposed to be using that- that specific gun against this? Like, is that- is that it? Is this something that I'm supposed to be doing? Am I Is that the one thing that's damaging it? Its own weapon? Like, I seriously don't know. Like, is this, is this how I'm supposed to do it? I'll say you die. Like... have to be doing something wrong. Like, this is... This would be ridiculous for the final boss. Like, this is actually kind of stupid. Okay. Just screw off, okay? Well, I'm, I'm looking this up now. How to be, I like how if I look up how to beat the final boss in Half-Life, Opposing Force is the first option. You have to pump as many shots into the chest cavity as possible. Well, like, I don't have a shot on it with this. Like, Susie, it immediately just covers it up, like... Nothing about how this is designed actually, like, is any, like, indication of how you're supposed to, like, do it. Like, okay, serious question. Is there, like, do I have to use it with just this gun? Is it only killable with these guns? And if so, why? So hard to hit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly try something. Like is that the proper way to do this? Is it to just like shoot it with any gun or can do I have to do it with these blasters? Yep, I can do it with anything, okay. Is that it? Is that the... Is this just how it ends? 
Because if that's the ending, then that's incredibly disappointing. The final boss in Black May so really like. Yep, that's the ending. Wow. So, Corporal Shepard, we meet at last. Nice to meet you, too, man. Don't think that I've been avoiding you. A great many matters require my attention in these troubled times. I do hope you understand. And now I require a further indulgence on your part. I cannot close my report until every loose end has been tied up. The biggest embarrassment has been Black Mesa facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. Yep, Black Mesa has so. been destroyed. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. While I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion, my employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm, and where no harm can come to you. I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives. And now, we are here forever. Is it? We don't get up? That's it. That's the end of the game. Status detained. Further evaluation pending. And they never do anything with Adrian Shepard ever again. Um, I will be honest. Black Mesa's final boss 100% turned around my opinions towards the end because the ending of that game was not particularly great outside of the final boss. But it was... Like, it... it it brought itself back with how fun that final boss was. Opposing Force, the most fun I had with it was early on. The, the rest of the experience in it was not good at all. Um, it's just, this is, okay, I've played through the original Half-Life 1, I've played through all of Half-Life 2, I've played through all of Half-Life 2 Episode 1. And I've played through all of Opposing Force and Black Mesa. By far the worst one is Opposing Force that I have played so far. I'm going to play Blue Shift. I will. And then I'll play Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, and maybe if my computer is good enough to record and play it at the same time, I might even go ahead and do Half-Life Alex. But th this is it. This is quite literally the end of the game. And it was not worth it. Uh, from the very beginning of this channel, I wanted to use this as an excuse to play the Half-Life games. Since I hadn't played through the the original Half-Life 1, uh, Blue Shift, or Opposing Force at the time. Uh, I did play Half-Life 1 off-screen. There were just too many... There were too many bugs to do that properly. And I would start doing Black Mesa. Um... But I did do the original Half-Life 1 in my own time. Um, the original Half-Life 1 is very good. Black Mesa is very good. Half-Life 2, very good. Half-Life 2 Episode 1, very good. Opposing Force, I can't say the same. Opposing Force is a drag to get through throughout most of it. Uh, at best, 4 out of 10. But hey, maybe Blue Shift will redeem this one, so... We'll just have to wait and see, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye Also, is this game going to actually, like, shut off at any point? Yeah, I think we're done here. <laughs>